Linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. The defending Super Bowl champs are one of two remaining unbeaten teams in the NFL. I'm joined by Clay Matthews. Nice to have you back, Clay. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself, Jim? Clay, I'm doing great. Thank you. Can't imagine, but we actually are starting off by talking about this guy. Let me first get your reaction to Brett Favre saying that he's not surprised that Aaron Rodgers won a championship, but surprised that it took him as long as it did. Yeah, I'm not going to get involved with that, but I know 12, uh, you know, he hears those comments, and it definitely fuels the fire, and I mean, he's playing outstanding ball, but it's only going to continue to exacerbate the situation and continue to, to, you know, step his game up. So, you know, I, I'm just looking forward to having him on my team and to see what he's able to do. Yeah, with respect to you not getting involved, I will ask you this. I mean, the man did say that Rodgers fell into a good situation and had better weapons than he had. Do you have any kind of problem with that or any issue with him making that statement? I'm sure Aaron has a, a bigger problem than... You know, with me, obviously, you know, I didn't play with Brett at the time. He's a fantastic athlete and what he did for this organization. But, you know, with, with backhanded comments like that, I'm sure, uh, you know, it, it hits a chord with Aaron. But, you know, he's a competitor and he takes everything that, that people say about him and the criticisms and, you know, puts it out on display on Sunday. And he's continued to improve in the three years that I've been here. And he's playing at an MVP level. I don't know if there's another quarterback playing as well as he is right now. Now, he's a guy who's got a chip on his shoulder. He's always used this sort of thing for fuel, motivation. In fact, Clay, I could say the same thing about you. When you first came in, you heard that the Packers gave up too many picks to get you. You heard then that you'd hit the rookie wall. Then your second year, you were supposed to fall victim to the sophomore slump. You had two huge years. So as you come into your third year right now and you're in it, what was your chip and your motivation, your fuel for this year? Yeah, it, it's always interesting to see, you know, what the critics are going to put on you. And I don't know, is, is it this year? Am I getting complacent? Am I too Hollywood? You know, so it's, it's always fun to hear what they have to say. But, you know, I, I just go about business as usual, obviously. I mean, everybody knows my story. So, you know, I've been given every position to succeed. So now I just take advantage of it. And when, you know, every Sunday when I go out there, I make sure my presence is felt. Hey, Clay, I think everybody knows your story now, but not everybody knew that you played the better half of the last part of the season. In fact, the second half of the season with a stress fracture in your lower leg. Talk to me about playing with an injury like that. How did that impact you personally and on the field to go through half a year with that kind of injury? You know, I try not to make a big deal of my injuries, especially in, in light of that, where I didn't want to give the opponent any advantage of potentially taking a shot or understanding that I'm not playing at 100%. But, you know, I, I don't like to miss games. And I was out there, and it was definitely hurting, but... You know, I made sure when I was out there, I was still benefiting this defense and this team. And fortunately, you know, I was able to buy some time. We were able to win some games and, you know, started to get into my stride with, uh, you know, two weeks left in the season. And, you know, I got back to full strength and began making the plays I was accustomed to and, and went on a great run and won a Super Bowl. You know, was there any point in time where you thought to yourself, the, the pain's getting great, and if I don't shut it down, it's just going to keep getting worse. Was shutting it down ever an option? Not for me, personally. Um, you know, unless there's something that's, that's going to keep me off the field, and a stress fracture wasn't going to do that. In fact, I was just showing up on Sundays. You know, I, I wasn't able to practice throughout the week, but I just gave it my all on Sundays. And fortunately, it was just enough to, uh, you know, make it through to another Sunday. Hey, Clay, talk about where you're at this year. You guys are 4-0 right now, but the defense is ranked 28th overall, 31 and 31st in passing. It's early. There's a lot of football still to be played. But is this defense right now as good as the defense was last year? Absolutely. And, of course, the numbers aren't going to, you know, show that we're the best, being one of the last in the league. But... You know, we, we've shown the resilience on, um, you know, our goal line stands, our, our fourth uh, quarter and, and fourth down stops, interceptions, turnovers that we've made. And, you know, we, we've kind of helped ourselves out by getting those turnovers, those interceptions. But at the same time, we're letting, you know, we're giving up way too much that this defense isn't accustomed to. And, you know, the great news is, just like you had mentioned, we're 4-0 and, you know, we're continuing to get better. We haven't played a complete game, and, you know, we're going to have to do that if we're going to want to win this weekend against a good Atlanta team. You know, so you might give a big chunks, but when you have to get off the field, you've been able to do that. You look at your first season, you had 10 sacks, then you had 13 and a half last year. Through the first four games this year, you have one. Are teams blocking you differently? Are they coming at it differently? I mean, you know, obviously I'm receiving, you know, the attention that I believe I deserve out there, and it's giving opportunities to other people to, uh, you know, make sacks and make plays, but... You know, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm uh, you know, satisfied with having one sack, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm doing my job out there. And, you know, I make sure when I'm out there, whether it's, you know, getting double teamed or, or playing the run game or, you know, even rushing the passer that, you know, they're going to, you know, make sure that they know that I'm out there. And uh, it just so happens I haven't been able to get home. But, you know, sacks come in bunches. Mine are going to come and, you know, I'll get mine. So I'm really not worried about it. Hey, Clay, are they even indicative of how you're playing? Sacks? I mean, they're a great stat. They'll get you paid. People pay attention. But are they really indicative of how well a guy's playing? I don't think so. Obviously, you know, 
good players get sacks, and, and like I said, mine will come. But you know, at the same time, I've you know I've missed two layup sacks. Uh, you know, I've had one where a quarterback fell forward. Uh, you know, I could very easily be sitting, you know, sitting at four or five sacks and say hindsight's twenty twenty. But at the same time, it, it doesn't change the way in which I play or how I go about rushing the pass or how I play the game. So it's not very indicative, but. You know, at the same time, it is a big momentum shifter for our defense, and, you know, I look to get mine. And, you know, your linebacker coach is Kevin Green. This guy was a wild man. He was a wild man when he played. He was a wild man when I put him on the show and interview him. What's he like to play for? He's a wild man. This is exactly what you said. Uh, you know, I'm sure you could pull up some, some sound bites and some clips of him coaching. It's the same as when he was playing, and that's what's so fantastic. As a guy who excelled at this position in the league and did it for so many years, is now able to transcend his knowledge onto me. And I can go out there and act like a fool and an idiot and, and go out and make some plays and hopefully make him happy. There it is. Clay, good to have you back. Always appreciate the visit. Thanks so much. Of course. Thanks, Jim. You too, Clay.